Looking at the specs first of the Sapphire Nitro RX 6800, it's built on the new and improved AMD RDNA 2 architecture using the 7 nanometer process. It has a boost clock of up to 2,190 MHz, a gain clock of 1,980 MHz, and the card also features 60 compute units and 128 MB of the all new AMD Infinity Cache, alongside 16 GB of dedicated GDR6 memory. The card can handle up to four displays and supports one HDMI port at 2.1 and three display ports at version 1.4. The card requires a two 8-pin power connector and the recommended power supply is 750 watts. There's also a direct dual BIOS switch that can be found on the side of the card, so if you happen to be dabbling in overclocking and push things a little bit too far, you can always switch to the other BIOS. The Nitro Plus series has always been a very clean looking card, especially thanks to its futuristic backplate design that will blend seamlessly into most case themes. On the tail of the card, you can find the ARGB pins to sync up to your motherboard to customize your LEDs even further. The card's form factor will fit into most cases. The only thing to consider is that it can take up to three expansion slots. Sapphire's Trix coolers have had a brand new redesign for the 6000 series, reducing a large sum of weight from the heatsink. Not only does this reduce any unnecessary pressure on the PCI Express slot, but it doesn't compromise cooling efficiency with its sleek design and solid engineering. And with the all new V-Fin construction, it accelerates centralized airflow around the GPU to dissipate the heat efficiently, while the wave fin design reduces air friction to improve noise levels. An additional heat pipe can be located beneath the memory module to help dissipate heat even further, plus alongside top-notch thermal pads to deliver better thermal conductivity. We also see a new and improved hybrid fan blade design that helps the card increase downward air pressure, reducing the GPU and memory temperatures by 3 degrees, while still keeping the fan noises low. We also still feature the Sapphire's Quick Fan Connect that enables you to quickly replace a fan head without having to return the card to the manufacturer for repair. Anyways, I hope you found this overview useful in some way, shape or form. Always make sure to go check out other reviewers. Do your homework before buying your next graphics card. What's up, everybody? My name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Today, we built a showcase PC featuring the new GeForce RTX 3090. So the GeForce RTX 3090 is now available and it's the first graphics card for great 8K gaming, which is pretty mind blowing since that's four times as many pixels as 4K. We finally got our hands on one so naturally we just had to make a build that would showcase its Titan class performance while accentuating its cutting edge cooler design. We once again worked with Lee Harrington of PC Junkie Mods to design a system befitting our big ferocious GPU our BF GPU. For this build, we needed just the right case, a combination of both beauty and stature. So we chose the Inwin 909 EK. With only 200 pieces manufactured, it's a limited edition high-end collaboration that matches the smooth curves of the 3090's cooler. To also keep the aesthetic in line with the striking industrial design of the Founders Edition cards, the brushed aluminum exterior panel of the chassis had been powder coated to a darker gunmetal gray. This case also features an integrated distribution plate that acts as a floating motherboard tray. So while it does have an inverted orientation, the innovative flow-through thermal design of the GeForce RTX 3090 still works great as it runs cool during gaming. Inside, we paired the 3090 with a 10th Gen i9-10900K, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM, and a 2 terabyte 4th Gen Corsair Force MP600 SSD. And all of that goodness is on a Supermicro C9 Z490 Pro gaming board with its server quality reliability and durability. Plus, it gives us enough space to use the other PCI slots if we choose to expand. Staying with the Quantum line, the CPU block, pump, radiator, and all of the fittings are from EK. And we have a full set of custom sleeve cables from Mainframe Customs, including a 12-pin cable. So it's top of the line spec and it's absolutely breathtaking. Let's go see how it performs. The first game we're going to check out is Control. At 8K with settings on a mixture of high and ultra, we maintained around 55 frames per second on average. Then over in Wolfenstein Youngblood, also in 8K and on the highest graphics settings, we stayed at a rock solid 60 frames per second through firefights. 
and you'll notice the GPU temp stayed around an impressive 66 to 68 Celsius while gaming. This truly is a beast of a PC, powered by the BF GPU that is the RTX 3090. I'm always blown away at seeing what Lee Harrington can do given the opportunity to go full out on a build. This is not only one of the fastest gaming computers out there, but one of the most stunning to look at too. Thanks everybody for watching. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below and we'll see you for the next one. The MSI Radeon RX 6000 series gaming trio cards are ready to power your next-gen gaming rig. Based on AMD's RDNA 2 architecture, these new cards provide you with high frame rates with stunning visual effects. The all-new Triforcer 2 cooling solution features TorxFan 4.0. Each fan has pairs of blades linked together with an outer ring that focuses the airflow into the heatsink. Zero Frosser technology ensures the fans will only start spinning if actually needed, based on the temperature. On the heatsink, Wavecurve 2.0 fin edges prevent unwanted turbulence for ultra-silent operation, while the deflectors increase surface area for maximum cooling performance. Instead of oval heat pipes which leave space in between them, these cards have precision machined core pipes for maximum contact with the GPU. The back of the card is covered by either a graphene composite or metal backplate. Both versions help to strengthen the card and dissipate additional heat from the PCB. A metal anti-bending strap and bundled support bracket ensure your card is properly reinforced even during transport. With the MSI Dragon Center software you can take full control of your graphics card and its Mystic Light RGB lighting. Squeeze out even more performance or monitor key system metrics during gameplay using MSI Afterburner. If you want to learn more about the MSI Radeon RX 6000 Gaming X Trio cards, please visit the product page. Thank you for watching and happy gaming! If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel.